Salutations, friends. It says I, said Stevie, and I am ready to do my uh, Blade Show West 2022 haul uh, video. So, uh, without further ado, let's get into it. Uh, what do I want to show off first? How about, uh, I'll show off the swag. How about that? Um, I got a fair amount of it. Uh, carried everything, uh, carried around one of these, uh, Spyderco totes, uh, that Spyderco was handing out. And, uh, yes, Shane Shane, I got you one. I got a couple of these. Uh, but, uh, yeah, uh, fair amount of swag. Um, after a while I kind of stopped grabbing. Uh, just cause, I don't know, it feels weird to just walk up to a table and grab swag, but, yeah. Anywho, uh. I got this uh, lanyard uh, badge holder from uh, David uh, over at the uh, QSP booth. Uh, shout out to Blade Banter, uh, who was holding down the QSP uh, booth. And uh, yeah, uh, if you showed off a uh, QSP uh, product, uh, they hooked you up with one of these. And I had my jigged uh, titanium penguin from traditional pocket knives on me, so he gave me that. Uh, and then, uh, let's see what else here. Um, yeah, uh, there are some QSP stickers I got from the booth. Uh, Blade HQ had a bi pretty big presence. And I got a bunch of uh, Blade HQ uh, stickers. Uh, they also had these uh, commemorative uh, mermaid coins. So I picked up a couple of these. Uh, Protech had some uh, stickers. Uh, that's a Runt sticker, a Malibu sticker, uh, Pacific Northwest Bushcraft, uh, more Blade HQ, um, Kakinas and Knives uh, is what uh, I got those, uh, that sticker, and that sticker, and also uh, that uh, sticker. Uh uh, Bless Knives, uh, you might have already seen my Bless Knives uh, a video that I showed uh, recently. Uh, shout out to Donald over at Bless Knives. Uh, he had a good, uh, that was his very first show, and uh, he had uh, some swag. Uh, dig those stickers. Uh, more Blade HQ. I grabbed a whole mess of uh, Blade HQ uh, uh, stuff. Um, uh... Jack Wolf Knives, shout out to Ben. I think he had a pretty good show. Uh, Microtech. Uh, I'll save that one uh, for a little bit later. Uh, more Pacific North uh, West. Uh, PNW Bushcraft. Uh, Black Rifle Coffee, who was the sponsor. And I think I got uh, in here somewhere. I got one of their koozies also. Uh, Dead Nuts uh, uh, sticker and... Um, uh, Ranger eye patches. This wasn't swag that was hand, uh, being handed out. I actually bought these from the uh, Devo Knives uh, booth. Shout out to uh, Colin and Kevin. Uh, this is uh, EDC Specialties. I hadn't heard of them before, but they were doing this cool uh, pocket dump uh, check. Uh, where you walk by and they said, hey, um, they were dressed up like surgeons and whatnot and uh, let's do a pocket dump, and anything you don't have, we're going to prescribe to you. As you can see on there, uh, I don't have, they, they didn't write me a prescription. I had everything. I didn't have the first aid uh, on me, uh, but I normally do carry uh, a first aid, at least uh, in the truck. So um, they, uh, they didn't <laughs> write me a uh, prescription, but I uh, got some uh, stickers uh, from them. Uh, another, uh, video that I, uh, just released, uh, released, <laughs> released Eskimo, uh, knives, um, awesome, uh, maker. I got to meet and talk with, uh, um, Leland from, uh, he, he's the, uh, bladesmith, uh, for Eskimo knives and the, uh, owner, uh, he was staying at the same hotel and, um, yeah, I got a bullshit with him a bunch, and uh, that's where I did the, uh, the, um, the, uh, that's when I got into the, uh, whatever it's called, <laughs> the uh, interview with him, 
Um, I don't remember what this knife is. I think it might be uh, Dogwood Customs, the K-Tip. That's what I think that might be. Um, Dogwood uh, Customs. Uh, White River Knife and Tool. Now, I didn't pick up anything from them, but they got some really cool stuff, uh, and I want to uh, keep them in mind. Uh, they make some uh, awesome uh, fixed blades. Uh, here is the Blade Show West uh, floor map. Um, let's see what else. Uh, Arcane Design. Uh, let's see here. Uh, some Artisan uh, Ahab uh, stickers. going to be 10 minutes. Oh, I guess I got one of my own in there. Uh, 10 minutes of me showing off uh, stickers. There's a uh, mermaid uh, sticker. Another mermaid coin. Um, I'll see that off to the side there. Uh, this is cool. Uh, this is from uh, Vero, uh, obviously. But uh, I stopped and talked to Joseph Vero for a little while. And I was carrying my... Axon liner lock and I was telling him that that's a contender for knife of the year and how much I like it even more so than the uh, frame lock and he was asking me why and I kind of just went through my uh, spiel on why I think it's a better uh, not better it's just per my preference anyway and he's like well I got something for you he's like uh, I brought these with me and I haven't handed any out yet but uh, it's just a um, aluminum a uh, lasered uh, breakdown of the Axon uh, liner lock. So, I thought that was cool. Uh, some uh, Riot patches, uh, some Leong uh, Ma uh, patches. One of these uh, is going to uh, Marcos. Uh, another Riot patch. Uh, Vosteed uh, patch. Original Goat patch. Uh, Riot uh, wiping cloth. Um... A uh, NAFSCO uh, uh, Kitty Rover landing sticker. Uh, that's awesome. A uh, bunch of uh, Vosteed uh, stickers. Shout out to Stella and Mary who were running the booth. And then also, uh, I got myself a uh, Nelly sticker. And uh, she uh, signed it. Uh, Nelly came along with. Uh, uh, Big Red EDC and uh, got to spend uh, some good time with them. Actually did an appearance on the early edition of SKL live from our uh, uh, hotel lobby. Uh, that was a star-studded event. It had uh, Nelly, um, outside of JB, obviously. Uh, Nelly, uh, myself, uh, David Eggs and Ham, uh, Pete and Christine, Women Carry Knives Therapeutic Edge, uh, then Marianne and Les uh, Halpern, uh, TRM, stops by because they were staying at the hotel. Uh, ben Belkin from uh, uh, Jack Wolf Knives uh, stopped by because he was staying there. Uh, Scorpion Six stopped by because they were staying in there. And uh, yeah, uh, that was an awesome, awesome, awesome event. So uh, this is a bunch of swag that will be going in. Oh, and then these... Uh, um, uh, forever uh, strike matches uh, from uh, Blade HQ. But all this stuff is going into the... Not all of it. Most of this stuff is going into uh, the future uh, giveaway uh, uh, box. Uh, let's see, what else? Um, oh, uh, yeah. Speaking of uh, NASCO, uh I picked up a uh, Landerer and a uh, Knife Tool Burrito. I won't get into this, but this is uh, uh, Ben Peterson's uh, tool, uh, or tool burrito, sorry. Uh, it's a um, knife roll, basically. Breakdown mat has magnets in the corners so that uh, your screws can't get loose on you. And, uh, ooh, opening up with the uh, Plexus, by the way. I have connected to the Plexus. That's awesome. Uh, but they were doing a deal at uh, the NAFS booth, one of the most awesome booths there, and one of the most awesome dudes, and uh, uh, Ben Peterson, um, and his wife, uh, an awesome, uh, you got a, some, some good instructions and breakdown and everything of the lander. 
but they were having a deal that if you bought a Landerer at the show, uh, you got an extra set of scales. So I actually uh, picked up uh, the black scales. And yeah, uh, this thing is small but mighty. Um, I, I don't know. I, I dug it and I figured I would uh, pick it up. But uh, one of the cool things about uh, the Landerer is the fact that Ben uh, chose to do uh, release the uh, CAD file uh, open source for uh, scales. So uh, other makers can just have the file and they can uh, make their own scales. And uh, Chroma Scales was there uh, already selling uh, Lander uh, scales. And I saw these. And I said, whoa, that looks like uh, uh, Predator Vision. He said, that's exactly what it is supposed to be. So, uh, yeah, uh, Predator Vision uh, scales for the Landerer uh, and a uh, lanyard bead. So I will uh, be doing a uh, video uh, pretty soon on uh, adding those. It's supposed to be pretty easy. Uh, one of the features of the uh, Landerer is similar to the uh, TRM Atom and Neutron. You don't have to, you just remove a couple of screws and the scales pop off. You don't have to do a full disassembly. So... Uh, that's cool. But uh, that's uh, some stuff I got from NAFCO. Oh, and then I got uh, these uh, from Dogwood Customs. Uh, this is their offset. Um, either you can use them like that, or you can use them like that. But uh, this is their uh, titanium uh, tongs, or tweezers, uh, so to speak. Uh, they call this a uh, bacon flipper or a tortilla turner, or a, or, uh, 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 you know, <laughs> there's a thousand different things that you can use this uh, for. I think even uh, Lefty uh, picked up a pair, so he said he can pull his bagels out of the uh, toaster oven. But, uh, yeah, uh, I just thought that this was a cool uh, little kitchen gadget uh, that Dogwoods uh, Customs was selling. Um, and, yeah, they're only uh, 20 bucks, so I picked up a, a pair of those uh, for the kitchen. Shout out to Dan and his wife over at Dogwood Customs. Uh, super cool. Uh, K-Tip is one of my favorite um, uh, kitchen knives that I have. Uh, and then uh, Camo Carbon was there. And I picked up three squares of uh, Fat Carbon. Uh, I don't know exactly what all these are called. I think that's like the Python... Uh, camo carbon. Um, this is the 80s uh, camo carbon. And uh, Arctic Storm, maybe? But uh, I did not pick these up for myself. Uh, I picked these up for uh, Pro-X uh, 1840, and I am going to send all that to him so he can have some uh, fat carbon to work with when he is doing his uh, uh, for any future knife mods. And, um, yeah, let him know that as long as I asked him, I said, can you work with this? He said, sure can. I said, well, then I'm picking up some. Uh, next knife that I got. Uh, I have never owned, uh, not true, I had a Spyderco Para 3 Lightweight a long time ago that I gave away. But uh, I picked up a Spyderco Para 3. Uh, there is no box or anything with this. Uh, and that's because this was actually the factory seconds, uh, sale that they had going on. Uh, so this is in, uh, Maximit and, uh, it's yeah, uh, 80 bucks. Um, they were selling these for, uh, there is, I guess a very slight bow to the blade. Uh, it's a little off centered. Uh, she fixed it a little bit already. Um, little in, you know, little dark spots in the blade. I got to clean it off because it had the uh, sticker on it. But uh, I don't care about the little um, uh, imperfections uh, that it has in it. It was only 80 bucks. And uh, this thing, obviously, uh, surprise, surprise, is really good. Really, really good. And I'm already going to order some uh, stuff to mod this. A uh, new clip, uh, some new scales, and I'm going to get a backspacer for it. So, uh, yep, first uh, Spyderco uh, Para 3. 
Uh, then, uh, this thing is uh, pretty dope. Uh, this was over uh, at the Vosteed. Uh, Vosteed? I keep mispronouncing. I think it's Vosteed. I keep saying Vosteed. But Stella and Mary, as I mentioned, were running the uh, Vosteed uh, booth. And uh, this is a, a leather uh, knife roll. Uh, I don't remember how many uh, spots it has, but it holds a bunch of... Uh, a bunch of uh, uh, knives. She also gave me, I should have put this in the swag, um, uh, some nightshade uh, breakdown uh, mouse pads or breakdown mats. But uh, yeah, um, gave me uh, some of those uh, to give away. Uh, but then I wasn't just freeloading. Uh, well, actually, maybe I was. Um, I, I got one of these uh the uh knock knock um pry bar i thought that this was cool nice uh I, the, the pry bar is nice uh, and lightweight um it's got all the functions that you need in it and it's got a uh, wire clip on it so uh, i was thinking about uh checking to see if i could put a uh, lynch northwest clip on it and kevin said isn't that kind of sacrilegious put a Lynch Northwest clip on another pry bar. I said, you know what? You're right. Uh, doesn't mean I'm not going to, but and maybe it will be, but uh, yeah, I guess I'll be sacrilegious to uh, one of my favorite uh, uh, companies. But uh, yeah, again, shout out to uh, Stella and Mary uh, who were running the... Uh, uh, booth, uh, the Vosti uh, booth. Uh, next, uh, and this is all stuff in no particular order, uh, this is from Bradford, USA. I got an interview video coming up with them. I almost bought a Guardian 5 and 3V, uh, but then, you know, I said, I kind of want, uh, so Bradford, uh, made in USA, made here in the uh, good old state of Washington, not too far down the road from me, uh, but instead of getting a big fixed, I got one of their pairing knives. And this is an ABL, uh, and in the video, he'll talk about why he likes ABL uh, for his cutlery um, steel. But uh, yeah, this thing is awesome. Nice little uh, uh, pairing knife. Um, my Carta uh, scandal, uh, handles with, I believe, uh, G10 liners. Or maybe it's just all my Carta. Maybe, I don't know. But, uh, yeah, pick that up. Um, awesome uh, folks over at Bradford. Uh, and, yeah, add this to the uh, the culinary uh, knife collection that I got going on. Yeah, you can see there. Uh, does it have their address on here? It does not. But they're, uh, they're in Bellevue, Washington, uh, not too far from me. Uh, there's another knife uh, that I got. Uh, I guess this is some more swag that I got. Um, they were handing these out as you walked in. This is a baby banter, uh, breakdown mat. And then from, uh, that EDC, uh, specialties group, a, uh, calendar. Um, oh, uh, Artisan. Uh, Artisan was out. Artisan slash CRJB. Uh, they were out of pouches uh, so, but they gave me one of these uh, bags um, nothing uh, fancy here uh, on the packaging again no uh, no pouches uh, for me but I picked up an Ahab and uh, also shout out to uh, Artisan uh, they are a pretty awesome company um, I've actually already been uh, cutting with this um Artisan, uh, so you have uh, Russell over there, who I don't really know. I've chatted with just at the booth a couple times. But you got Nico, uh, the Hobbit, uh, and his wife that run the booth. Uh, Nico's awesome. I actually met Nico through the Ferrum Forge groups. Um, he's got a crazy collection of Ferrum Forges. Uh, he's friends with... Uh, the brothers Williamson, and um, so yeah, I, I, I've been chatty with him, and uh, got to meet him also at Blade Show uh, East uh, in Atlanta. 
Um, and then you got uh, Dylan Mallory, uh, who works uh, the Artisan uh, CGRB booth as well. And I was looking at all their stuff, and I spied the Ahab. And I said, uh, Nico, wrap it up. Uh, I'll take it. I've been wanting to get one of these. Um, this is also in... Oh, no. I keep I keep confusing uh, A -A or A -R -R -P -M 9 with ABL for some reason. But... Uh, yeah, uh, this is a dope knife. Uh, Maddie, uh, Mattisfaction introduced the, uh, this to me, and um, I really, really dig it. So I uh, picked that up, and uh, maybe, maybe, huh, 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 huh? I don't know. We'll see. Um, then the uh, last knife that I got, so I, I, I guess I only ended up getting... Um, one, two, three, four knives. One, the para, three, the landerer. All five, I guess, uh, if you count the, uh, Bradford. But, uh, I stopped by the uh, Kaiser booth, um, and, uh, talked to Vu. Uh, Vu, uh, donated to the, uh, Jason Brown Memorial, uh, raffle. And, I uh, wanted to stop by, uh, talk to him. Uh, I've never purchased a Kaiser. Uh, and, uh, there's a Kaiser knife that I've actually been wanting. Uh, it's been sold out everywhere and I've been kind of waiting on it. I was like, aha, go to the Kaiser booth, see if they have one. And they did. So I, this is, this was my first, uh, pickup. I got the Graziaso. Uh, this is in 20 CV titanium, uh, bolsters, carbon fiber, Titanium backspacer, titanium pocket clip, and it's by that bad mofo, Sharif Manganas, uh, Mangana Steel uh, design, and this thing is just lovely, absolutely, the, re the action on this thing is just ridiculous, um, I really like Sharif's designs, and uh, it's just, it keeps on improving, uh, this is breaking in really well. Um, again, uh, there's like no blade play whatsoever. Uh, it's centered and, uh, it's just pink. It's yeah. The, uh, action on this is uh, pretty wicked. Uh, it came with a, a pouch and a drop cloth or drop cloth, a, uh, uh, wiping cloth. And then he gave me, uh, the stand, uh, these Kaiser, uh, stands, uh, display stands. How do these work? There you go. Uh, and then a, um, a lanyard. Oh, oh, these are like key tags. Oh, that's cool. Uh, so yeah, a uh, shout out to Vu and Kaiser. Uh, I've never, uh, I say I've never owned one, but uh, that's not true. I guess I have. I had a Kaiser LAN, uh, but I gave that, I, that was a giveaway. I think Iggy got the uh, Kaiser Land, if I'm not mistaken. But, uh, yeah, I was super stoked to get this. Super stoked. Um, oh, and then uh, Vu hooked me up with a uh, Kaiser uh, t-shirt as well. Uh, and then that is really everything that I picked up. Uh, but then something else pretty cool uh, happened. So, uh, the night before, uh, Blade Show, uh, after dinner, uh, we went on a big city walk, uh, Pete and Christine and JB and Nelly, and, um, we, uh, walked around for a while, uh, Nelly and, uh, JB, uh, once we walked past the hotel, it was getting pretty late, they said they were going to, uh, crash. Um, me and uh, Therapeutic Edge and uh, Women Carry Knives, Pete and Christine, kept on walking, uh, walked all over the city. And we decided at one point to walk up to the Salt Palace where the uh, where Blade Show was taking place. And we figured we'd check it out, see if we could find where the tickets and everything were going to be. There was a bunch of different entrances. Uh, walked up to where we thought it was going to be. And what do you know? It was open. Uh, it was already like 10 like maybe 9 10 o'clock at night at this point 
Uh, we went inside. Uh, the doors to the Blade Show room were uh, open. No one was in there, but they were completely wide open. Uh, we didn't go in. Um, but, uh, yeah, we could have had full uh, rain. Uh, there was also a big uh, Young Living Essential Oils convention. Like a global convention was going on there. And they had a big old party going on. And I said to Pete and Christine at the time, like, hey, let's, let's go check it out. And, nah, no, okay. Ended up uh, walking them back to their hotel. And I was going to, uh, uh, afterwards, we, so we left. I was going to uh, walk back uh, over there. Uh, and I did. And I filmed a video. Uh, ended up crashing the party. I went in, ate some of their food. And it was all sorts of fun. And I was getting ready to leave. Uh, someone uh, hipped me to... Uh, Everyday Minimalist had posted a scavenger hunt video. Uh, he said, hey, uh, we are going to hide uh, this pouch inside the convention center. And if you win it, uh, you'll get what's inside its contents uh, with a, uh, a number, a phone number, uh, his phone number, and um, to give it a call. And uh, he will uh, meet up with you and... Um, give you uh, instructions on another knife. So, uh, being that I was already at the convention center and the place was open, um, I figured, what the hell? Uh, I went back in, uh, used the clues of the video, and uh, up along um, the... Uh, there was a bunch of big letters above the entrance to uh, one of the doors. It said, like, welcome or ballroom or something. Uh, about uh, seven, eight feet up in the air, or ten, really, I guess more like ten feet up in the air, resting on the edge of the M was this pouch. And uh, uh, I don't have a real uh, big vertical leap, but I was able to jump up and uh, knock this bad boy down. And, uh, yeah, so I've already taken the number out, but uh, it's a uh, Civivi... Uh, I guess this is the, the micro uh, elementum in brass. <laughs> this tiny little uh, frame lock uh, brass uh, elementum. Uh, that was in there. Uh, and also a uh, uh, everyday uh, minimalist uh, patch. But I gave it a call. Uh, he was a little uh, caught off guard because uh, I found it so quickly. But um, he uh, told me to meet him out front. Uh, he met me out there, uh, with a camera crew. Um, they filmed a quick little, uh, man on the street thing. And he gave me a couple stickers and, uh, this brass, uh, refine, uh, bolt action pen. Uh, which I thought was, uh, cool. And he said, hey, uh, run into me at the show tomorrow and I have your, uh, an actual knife for you. Uh, and I did. And uh, he handed me this. Uh, this is uh, from Blade uh, Runner uh, Systems. Uh, and this is the Apache Button Lock. And uh, it's a cool little uh, knife. Uh, nothing fancy. I don't think these are too spendy. Uh, that's not the point of it. A uh, free knife is a free knife. But uh, yeah, uh, D2 steel, uh, flipper, um, uh, button lock. Uh, action isn't uh, too bad on it. Um, it's got it's got a stiff uh, detent. I can middle finger flick it, but it, it it's a little difficult. But uh, yeah, I think Stella even uh, ended up picking one of these up. But um, yeah, I just thought it was cool uh, that uh, I technically uh, this was kind of my first uh, giveaway, so to speak. Just happened to be in the right place at the right time. And, uh, so yeah, I got that. Uh, I don't plan on keeping this. Um, I'll probably, I don't know if I'll do an actual video on it or not. Um, probably keep it around for a couple days. But then, uh, this is going to be a, uh, giveaway knife. And in all honesty, uh, this, uh, baby, uh, Elementum will probably also end up being a, uh, future, uh, giveaway knife. I don't know. I just don't have any use for this uh, whatsoever, but I guess I do kind of got a brass uh, collection going now. So, yeah, uh, shout out to Everyday Minimalist. I don't know when that video is going to post. Uh, maybe it's already posted and I just haven't uh, checked it out. But uh, that is my Blade Show West uh, 2020 
2 haul. I uh, didn't go nearly as crazy as I did out in Blade Show Atlanta. Um, this show uh, is much, much, much smaller. And they don't have, like, a lot. They had some different prototypes there from some of the companies. But a lot of the companies aren't even there. And then um, they don't. They didn't have, like, any big, uh, you know, like, exclusives. Um, Protec had the uh, Mordax and uh, Magna Cut. It was all blacked out, though. And I didn't want the blacked out one. Um, uh, Protec also did uh, with... Blade HQ, they did a Desert Warrior, uh, SBR, uh, Auto. Um, There's a couple of uh, little things, but nothing like big, no big debuts. Uh, you know, no big uh, drops. They kind of save that stuff for Blade Show Atlanta, uh, or Shot Show even. Uh, so, not as big of a show at all, but uh, still a really fun experience. Uh, got to, uh, I palled around with, uh, eggs and ham, uh, quite a bit, ran into Ken Faulkner there, um, bunch of, uh, bunch of people I hadn't, uh, met before, uh, too many to list, um, you know, I got to hang out, uh, with, uh, JB and Nelly, uh, quite a bit, again, Pete and Christine, uh, awesome, awesome people, got to get to know them, uh, more, uh, a little bit more. Uh, and then also, I uh, went to a dinner, I, shoot, I guess it ended up being both nights. I went to dinner with, uh, Kevin and Colin, uh, from Devo Knives. Um, I gotta be my, uh, low key, I wasn't a crazy fanboy, but it was cool to hang out, uh, for one, uh, getting to hang out with, uh, Kevin, um, my douche bro, uh, who I haven't really ever got to hang out with, had seen him at Blade Show Atlanta, but... Um, didn't, uh, get too much time with them, you know, so, uh, getting to hang out, uh, with my douche bro, uh, you know, have dinner with him, uh, a couple nights in a row was awesome. We walked, well, actually it was all three nights, walked around, uh, late night, uh, uh, and had pizza with him and, uh, Colin, and then we went to, uh, some Nacho, Nacho Daddy, and then another, uh, brewery, but, uh, getting to know, uh, Colin Mason Pierre is pretty cool. Uh, you know, I'm a big CM Knife Designs uh, fanboy, so uh, it was cool to uh, get to talk to him, pick his brain a little bit, and uh, yeah, uh, but everyone was uh, super cool, um, had a had a blast, and uh, this video, I'm looking down as long as hell, so um, I think I'm going to wrap it up, folks, but again, I had a blast. Uh, Look out for, I, I got more videos, uh, interviews dropping. I wanted to film more, but then I also wanted to see the show more and experiencing the show from behind the camera the entire time. Um, as nice as it is, as it is to get uh, content for the uh, channel, um, I also wanted to enjoy myself too. And uh, walking around uh, behind a camera the entire time isn't uh, as fun as you might think it is. Uh, so I didn't film as much stuff as I would have liked to. I did get to highlight a couple of the makers, uh, small makers, uh, their first shows. I uh, got to uh, meet with them. Uh, and then a couple of the uh, bigger booths. Um, I got a, a video coming up with Bradford and Arcane Design. And um, yeah, I don't remember what else, but. Uh, anywho, fun, fun, fun experience. I highly recommend, uh, if you guys get a chance to go to a Blade show, you take advantage of it. If you're not into big crowds, um, or a smaller scaled down version, Blade Show West is probably going to be the one you want to go to. Um, uh, it's in Utah, uh, so it's, uh, you know, kind of cent more centrally located. Um, they are going to do it in, uh, Salt Lake City again, uh, next year. And then there's Blade Show Texas, which I heard is slightly bigger and a lot more people in attendance. And then you got Blade Show East, uh, Blade Show Atlanta. That is just, that's a humongous, huge event. Um, but uh, as cool as it is to check out Knives and um, see a lot of the makers, uh, it's also really cool to meet up with people that um, you talk to in the chats. And interact with all the time and uh getting a chance to finally meet them in person um like i said a uh, bunch of people uh the one that just keeps standing out was a ken faulkner though um he sported a uh, said stevie shirt one of the days um but uh yeah 
you know, we, we stood in line while they were waiting uh, to call one of the Blade HQ raffles, um, bullshitted with him a bunch, uh, walked around uh, the couple of booths a little bit, and uh, yeah, uh, Ken, if you end up watching this, uh, shout out to Ken Faulkner, uh, super awesome dude, um, and then I know I'm forgetting other people, but uh, yeah, anywho, that's all I got for you now, folks. Um, uh, and, okay, one last thing. One last thing. Um, I know I've already mentioned them uh, a couple times, but uh, over at the uh, Vosteed booth, which I did get a takeover for a little bit and went live on Instagram, um, the highlight of uh, all that stuff I just mentioned, really the highlight of the trip was actually finally getting to meet Stella in person. And uh, her uh, lovely, lovely wife, Mary. They're such an awesome couple. Um, uh, but Stella is amazing. Um, again, already one of my uh, favorite people. And now that I've got to meet her in person, that just really cemented it. Uh, Stella was awesome. They were busy working, uh, so I didn't get to spend a lot of time with them. But I did make it by the booth many, many times and uh, talk to her. Uh, bumped into Mary, uh, walked around with Mary uh, for a little bit um, uh, uh, as uh, she was uh, buying uh, some, some tchotchkes and whatnot, um, and then walked the show with uh, Stella as I was closing a little bit. Real quick, one of the funniest things, um, and I'm just going to keep it going, fuck it. If this is a 40-minute video, it's a 40-minute video, but I was standing at the Vosteed booth uh, with uh, uh, Big Red and uh, uh, Stella was showing us some of the stuff that she had picked up. We were showing off some of the stuff that we had picked up and Mary <laughs> just comes over. She's like, you guys want to see what I've gotten? And she's a uh, double fist and, uh, uh, two bottles of beer. <laughs> and it was, it was just perfect comedic timing. Um, <laughs> it was legitimately really, really funny. Maybe you had to be there, but, uh, yeah, uh, getting to meet Stella and Mary uh, was just an amazing uh, part of the show. Like I was saying, getting to meet people is the biggest part of it. Uh, so if uh, Stella, if you end up uh, seeing this, if anyone ends up seeing this, um, Stella's awesome. Make sure you uh, go uh, subscribe to Stella's Knife Obsession. She goes live on Sundays at uh, 3.30 Pacific. I believe it's 4.30 uh, Mountain Time, which is her local time. Uh she was local to the uh, uh, show there. All right, folks. Appreciate you. Uh, if you watched all this, um, geez, I owe you something. Uh, first person to uh, uh, comment, um, mermaid. I'll send you some mer that mermaid uh, Blade HQ swag. How about that? A little something for your troubles. First comment that I see. Um, I'll give you a little something for uh, toughing this one out. But that's all, folks. How many times have I said that? Uh, appreciate you tuning in. And until the next one, I bid you mofos a deuces.